Howdy bubs and welcome back. Today we're going to be going through on how to create an obstacle that you can destroy inside of your game. So starting off, you're going to create two obstacle sprites. One for the obstacle itself, in my case, a bunch of balloons in the way. You can set your collision mass to be slightly smaller. I wanted to make mine just a little smaller so that way like the balloons aren't completely uh, rigid. Uh, or you can just leave it automatic. It's up to you. It depends on what your sprite is. And then a destroyed version of the obstacle. The reason why I have these as two separate sprites is because I want them to have two separate collision masks. If you intend to just delete your object or just remove the collision with it at all, then you could leave this be. Uh, and have it all as one. I wanted to have it so that both of them have separate collision masks. The obstacle in its broken form still blocks the way so you can just jump over it, but that's the intent that I have. If you follow this pattern, make sure they're on the same origin point. If you do not, then you may have some issues whenever you swap between sprites. Now that you have that set up, let's go ahead and create for ourselves a new object. This will be O obstacle. And we're going to, of course, select our sprite that we just made. We're going to make sure this stays is the same as sprite. Since we will swap the sprite, we want them to have different collision masks. Then we're going to simply have three events. Our create event. We're going to have a step event. And we're going to have a draw event. Let's maximize this and get into the code. So inside here, this will just be addressing our variables and uh, actually this is just initializing the variables. We have a flash value. Whenever I hit the wall, I want it to, of course, flash. So flash value is equal to zero. My hit points. This is going to also be equal to 10. This is just my starting value. You can mess around with it, change it, whatever you want, your game. Horizontal speed, initialize to zero, and a vertical speed, initialize to zero. And last, we'll add a variable for the acceleration due to gravity, so gravity, excel, and we initialize it to 0 0.3. This will come into play later on because I actually want my obstacles to be impacted by gravity, or if I pop the bottom balloons, all of the balloons above should also fall. Next, we go into our step event, and over here, drawing broken barricade and gravity. Gravity with a capital G, and then movement collision check. Gravity will impact us, and this will make us slowly begin to fall, uh, up until we hit a wall. On this portion, draw the broken barricade. If our hit points are less than or equal to zero, you then will have the sprite index will just be equal to s obstacle broken. That addresses everything we need in our step event. And last, in our draw, we just need to make sure that we draw our little hit flash so this is hit flash. Most importantly, remember to draw underscore self. If you don't, you're not going to see anything. If the hit points are greater than zero, that means if we get shot or the balloons get shot at uh, with our, in my case, crossbow, I want to make sure it does the hit flash. And that'll address all the code that goes into obstacles. Let's go back to the obstacle itself. Here is a very important part that will help us in addressing a lot of our code. I want to make sure that the obstacle actually has uh, collision issues with the player. The player should not be able to, of course, just stroll on through our obstacle. But nowhere in our code did we address anything related to colliding with the player. The player right now only collides with the wall. All of our scripts deal with only the wall. However, if we declare that the obstacle is a child of the O wall, all of our code that talks about colliding with a wall 
will apply to an obstacle or any children of the wall, in this case, us. That means if our player tries to run into the wall, they will stop it. And equally, if the player tries to run into an obstacle, which is a child of the wall, it will also be stopped. All of our code that impacts the wall will apply to the obstacle. Similarly, since I have the hit spark occur whenever I hit my wall, the same thing will happen with our obstacle. We'll have that nice little effect. The only thing that we need to add for code is just in our projectile. Right now, if we collide with the O enemy, we do uh, a damage target. I want to go through and do the same thing, but for specifically a collision with our obstacle. And so this is uh, damage obstacle. So we damage it, we deal one point of damage. This will also trigger the hit flash because our flash code is inside of uh, the damage target. Now let's go ahead and throw this into the room and test it out. So let me zoom in over here. And I'm going to place these balloons here. They'll be blocking my path. And now let's go ahead and test it. We run along, and I cannot get into or past the balloons. I can stand on top of it just fine. And let me go ahead and get the crossbow and take a shot at it. It does a hit flash as it normal. And then once I get 10 hits, it will break. Now it still blocks my path, but I can jump over it very easily. And assuming our code for gravity is working, we should be able to destroy this lower one and the upper one should all fall underneath, as we see there. And voila, I can now make it over. That is everything that goes into us creating a simple barricade system, something that blocks the player, but something that the player is capable of destroying if you have any questions or need any assistance, just let me know in class. Otherwise, that's all I've got for you all today. Everyone, have a good one. I just wanted to say a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Shout out to my bad bubs, my top five, my day ones. Y'all have always been there for me. Next up, my baby bubs, the next five. I always love y'all's support. And finally, for everyone else, any little bit helps. Thank you to all my basic bubs for supporting me along my journey. If you want to continue receiving notifications, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button.